I've never been to any fashion school in my entire life. Say, make I even go learn, say, I won't upgrade nothing. Never. Never. I've always been creative. Always been. If you're a lover of African fashion and pop culture, you must have heard about Vicky James by now. There's been so much buzz since the phenomenal Nigerian fashion designer announced her engagement and eventually tried to break the internet with a breathtaking wedding. The 28-year-old fashion designer got married to a heart rob, Femi Atere, a Nigerian businessman and senior corporate analyst on Saturday, February 10th, 2024, in a themed wedding hashtagged Love on Beating 24. I love you so much, Femi. And I will love you till the day Christ comes. Videos went viral showing the grandeur of a vintage-themed breathtaking reception. Netizens were in awe of the beautiful displays and debates began to fly on how much the whole wedding must have cost. First, the bride flawlessly walked down the aisle on the longest train in the history of African weddings. Followed by 200 choir members, Vicky James going the extra mile to worship and sing for God as the daughter of Zion has also got people talking. Celebrities such as Moses Bliss, Hilda Bassi, and Top Guns in the Nigerian fashion industry came out to make the day memorable for the bride and groom. Pretty Mike of Lagos did not disappoint with his cringe body entrance either. Without wasting too much time, let's look into the biggest wedding of 2024 so far. Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. So guys, I made a masterpiece for the video. You have probably seen that outfit. Victoria James, popularly known as Vicky James, is one designer who has been so remarkable with her designs and work style. The 28-year-old Aquaibom entrepreneur is known for her illustrious and sheer gorgeous dresses, mostly worn by brides and red carpet appearances. According to the celebrated designer, her passion for fashion started in secondary school. Raised by a fashion designer widowed mother who lost her husband when Vicky was only five years of age. Along with her two brothers, her mother nurtured her until she went to the University of Uyo to pursue a degree in biochemistry. Sadly, Vicky dropped out to focus on a booming fashion business. Growing up, I had to hustle a lot because my dad died before I was five. Wow. In fact, my last born was my mom was still pregnant with my last born when my dad died. So, you know, from five years old with no dad, thank God for my dad's brothers because they helped us, you know, at least through school, they tried their best. Mm -hmm. I've been like a hustler since like primary school. You know, get with your name. I'm not sure to get any handwork for this world. I used to make knitting, um, knitted outfits like yeah. cap, blouse. I was, I was Always good in yeah. Ajagunle, you know. From there, I started to sell things. From there, I started to do hair. I was making hair for like all my classmates in primary school. To get money. Every, yeah, every weekend after school, even as I, even when I did make hair, I see they need, I see they do uh, sew clothes for people, you know. I was doing all of that, and then after secondary school and I went to further learn how to make hair proper proper so after then I was not like a proper hairstylist you know hairdresser in a jagon layer and I was making money you know before and I left Lagos and then went to Aquaibom for school started makeup and hairstyling there came back to Lagos and then that was how God just redirected my steps from you know doing this into doing what I do now so as a fashion umpire began to boom in her early 20s she added professional makeup wig making and beauty blogging to mention but a few to the list of crafts I started my my fashion business in my mom's parlor in Ajegun there wow. and God helped me on social media. People started to, you know, know me small, small. They started to order clothes, you know. I started to make small, small. When, what year was this? It was like in 2018, towards the end of 2018. Yeah. Start, Vicky James started from your mother's Yeah, name. for the parlor with me, for where I grew up, Ajegunle. Inside there. Now they post, people, they order clothes from all parts of Nigeria. 
put the other clothes and they ship, they do everything, you know. And it was just at that point I knew that this is like where God wanted to change my life because it was just, I don't think I stayed in my mom's place for up to six months. I was I decided to, to leave school. Yeah. I was able to move to Magodo from there. And trust me, it was from the moment I left Ajekunle that it was like everything changed immediately. According to fashionfinestafrica.com, Vicky James mastered the art of sculpting the feminine body in her dresses. This explains why her designs are trendy for enhanced body shapes with snatched waistlines. With the magic of beautiful beadings, illusions and luxury fabrics, with several years of professional designing, styling and makeup experience, she captured the hearts of many local and international celebrities. From red carpet events to music video shoots, commercials, pageantries and weddings, Vicky James kept excelling. <laughs> The first rising celebrity fashion designer announced her engagement on November 5th, 2023 with the caption, I said yes to my sweetest love, Femi, on June 10th, 2023. I thought he was taking me out on a dinner date, but he already planned to ask me to be his wife. I said yes without a doubt. Sharing adorable pictures and videos, it happened that the exclusive proposal ceremony was attended by a handful of their family and friends. Yo, 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 it's the latest couple in town. At this point, we are about to get legally hitched. At this point, we are legally what, babe? Hitched. <laughs> Months later, the Nigerian luxury designer and her fiancé, Femi Atere, had a star-studded traditional wedding in Lagos on Thursday, February 9, 2024. Are you me? <laughs> you take this drink and introduce me to your parents. Popular Nigerian celebs such as Osas Igodaro, Nancy Isime, Toke Makinwa, Priscilla Ojo, Enyola Adeolua, and Pretty Mike, to name a few, graced the event in stunning Ashwebi attires. Vicky James is renowned for snatched waists, corsets, and premium embellishments, so her Nigerian celebrity friends and clients did not disappoint. Some ladies showed out in exquisitely embellished corset outfits and snatched ensembles. While the men slayed the Ashwebi fabrics in embroidered agbada, others pushed boundaries with flamboyant looks. Finally, on February 10th, the couple had their white wedding and exchanged their vows in the most romantic way ever. Rocking the longest bridal train, a fan reacted and said, No, that's what you call a cathedral train. Another added, Damn, this is dreamy. It's worth the suspense. During their vows, Vicky James promised to be the best wife ever, while her husband promised to always give her peace, among other emotional moments. I promise to love you and support you in everything you do. I thank God for bringing you my way. I promise to guard and protect you always. I promise to always give you peace, as usual. <laughs> thank you for for bringing peace into my life. I thank you for allowing me to shine. I thank you for supporting me and being of so much help to me. I know God made this union to bless this world. I know that. I'm so grateful to God for bringing you my way. And I want to promise you today that I will be the best wife ever to you. Vicky James also performed a song Olubeja with the city choir. Oh, 
Vicky James and Femi Atere decided to harmonize the classic with modern looks for their reception. The star-studded reception was vintage-themed and the guests brought their A-game as expected. Vicky James stepped out in this dreamy vintage dress for a second look and cutting of the cake. Elithian events brought the vintage reception to life. The venue was decorated with a series of vintage pieces, including beautiful chandeliers, white flowers and crystals hanging from the ceiling, gold plates and cutlery set on the table, crystal centerpieces on each table, sweetheart chairs made with beautiful brocade-looking materials and more. As the day progressed, the bride and the groom changed into a dark, glittering outfit for their third look and a magical dance moment that took our breaths away. The bride lived up to her name as a celebrity fashion designer by rocking about three other gorgeous dresses for a big day. The couple also had a dance with their lovely mothers, thanking them for raising them well. Family and celebrities did not disappoint. Guests channeled their inner fashion icons and walked the runway for the Best Dressed Award, where Medlin Boss and Maya Tafo selected the most stylish male and female who went away with half a million naira, courtesy of the bride and groom. The beautiful bride ended the night in the most adorable way. Vicky James praised and thanked her mother for raising her after her father died. She celebrated and praised her mother for all her hard work. I left my dad before I was five, and my mom stayed with us. I know that my mom will get me so much because she's a good woman. And my prayer for her from now and even before now is that she finds someone like her. The beautiful bride handed her mother the flower and prayed that she find love too. The glamorous and elegant wedding ended with more fun on the dance floor and bang in fireworks outside the venue. There you have it. What do you think of Vicky James' elegant and glamorous wedding? Many are praising her for spending so much money on her wedding. Do you think she is the one who funded the wedding? Some say she tried so hard to break the internet. Would you say she finally did? Finally, how much do you think Vicky James' wedding costs? 200 million or a billion as speculated? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.